Hi guys, welcome back to second episode of Easy Fix Easy Life playlist. And today I want to show you how to use Sentry. The software is extremely useful about repair your Mercedes. Please do not skip any step in this video because I will guide you through its function in this software step by step and how to use it usefully. Okay, let's start it. Firstly, you need to connect the diagnostic device to your vehicle. I have C4 UAP right here. So I use the Sanji open cell software. If you use another device, for example, like Z2543, you need to use Sanji Patrol software. Although they have different name, don't worry. They have the same user, and I will guide you right now. And don't forget to use the car charger during the diagnostic. Click on Sensi icon on the desktop. The software will run immediately. If you need diagnostic for your truck, click on Sensi truck. This is the start screen of the software. Select the car company you want to use. Now I will choose Mercedes. There are two ways you can identify the vehicle. The first way that you can enter your vehicle with number is this box. The second way that you can select the car model. If you can't, look up the model of car. Or you can't find the vehicle number anywhere. Don't worry, I will help you right now. Please click Auto Identify. Everything has been handled. However, you will have to wait a long time. Next, click on EDTO Quick Test. Start Quick Test. This is the main interface of the software. The top area is the VIN number of the vehicle that the software has recognized. Besides, there are parameters about the model, engine, and the gearbox. Please pay attention in this part, which is the indicator of voltage level in your vehicle. To protect your Mercedes from unfortunate dam, you should maintain the vehicle voltage above 12 volt. That's why I have instructed you to always use your car charging during diagnostic. In the left of the screen is the tone bar. This icon is the home screen. Not too much information here. Please focus on this tab. This is your Mercedes diagnostic result. Here is the list of control units. And here is the result. App letter with cap lock as going for code, which you need to show immediately. App letter normal are the four codes that set during vehicle operation. You need to keep your eye on this information because it can be a big problem in the future. I are winning about information, however, it's not too important. And this is the icon I always want to see. This icon shows the control unit in perfect working addition. Now, I will take a specific example to guide you. My car is having problem with audio, so I will go directly to the control unit to see what's going on. As you can see, all the most important things are here. In the version tab, I find a lot of useful information. You can know the exact part number of the port software and hardware. It will help you to replace the correct part you want. In addition, you know more about the file you need to use for DTS Monaco or Vediable. On the Europe Code tab, this is a list of the focus that are occurring. If you don't know how to solve their focus, Sensi will help you. Double click on the focus 
that you want to handle. The software will give you a specific test plan. It clearly tells you what you will need to do. Repair have never been so easy, right? The software is entrusting me to check plug FM at control unit audio for them. Correct connection, blue contact, and repair if necessary. The question is the plugs are okay? And I choose yes. Next, the software instructed me to check antenna line from component A218 to control unit A2 for open circuit. All operation have been detailed here. You just need to follow the construction. And the measure value must be between 0 ohm and 2 ohm. And look like I not so lucky because the value I measure is out of the range above. So I click on no. The final construction it has been made. The electrical line to component A218 is defective. With Sentry, I can fix every single problem with Mercedes. That's cool, right? When the repair is complete, click here to clean the fault code. Recently, I showed you how to use Sentry software to diagnose your Mercedes. The video seems to be long, so stay for the next feature tutorial in the third episode. Thank you for your watching. If you have any question, please comment below. I will try to answer you with everything I have. Okay, thank you for your watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you and goodbye.